Hey everyone, so I've had a handful of requests to walk through exactly what the flow profiling modifications are on the La Marzocco Linea Micra. So I'm gonna do my best to give you a one take walkthrough of what we've got going on here. Um, I've got a post on homebarista.com that has the parts list and also walks through a little bit more of a technical overview, but it's a picture and a lot of typed words. So hopefully having a video will make it a little bit easier. So to start with, we have the basic overview of the Micra's water delivery system shown on screen here. So the heart of this is this distribution manifold right here. So what happens is the pump is pumping water into the bottom of the manifold. We have the expansion valve or OPV that's set to about 12 bar and that keeps the pressure from ever going over 12 bar as the brew boiler up here is heating and as the, um, the preheat loop that wraps around the steam boiler also can generate a lot of pressure. So on the other side here where you really can't see it is the cold side of the preheat loop and that spirals all the way around the boiler underneath the insulation here. It comes down to the top here and this is hot water coming off the preheat loop that again goes into the manifold. And the manifold has like a two and a half millimeter orifice on the inside. So you actually get a little bit of a thermosiphon action going on here where the water is constantly circulating in the preheat loop and it's bringing this manifold up to temperature. Now in factory trim, this pipe right here runs from the top of that manifold over to the brew boiler and I've removed that pipe entirely from this machine and capped the top of the manifold. So putting the cap there just allows me to free up a port so that I can connect the pressure gauge, which is right here, comes down to the pressure gauge here. I can connect that to the output of the needle valve and then also connect the brew boiler to the output of the needle valve. And tucked back behind here where you really can't see it, is where I've placed a fitting, and I can give you a top view here and show that a little bit better. I've got a fitting tucked down there, right in there, that is connecting to the inlet of the needle valve. So the way this works is super simple. You've got control of the flow right there, and then the output goes to the pressure gauge or over here to the tidy little brew boiler. Up top here, we have the inlet from our needle valve. We have a temperature sensor that's controlling the temperature of the brew boiler. We have our three-way solenoid body, which is composite. And that is to minimize heat loss as this thing is um, moving water from the underside of the cap up into the brew valve and then straight back down through the center of the brew boiler to get it down to the group. You have a couple of snap thermostats here just to ensure that if this thing does get too hot, it'll shut off the power to the heating element. And again, the heating element coils are right there. So that is your basic overview of flow pro profiling on this machine. So again, we've got the preheat loop that's going to heat the water up really hot. That is feeding into the needle valve and then the needle valve is sending pressure to the gauge and pressure to the boiler. And the reason it's important to tie the gauge to the outlet is that allows us to see the impact in real time as we're pulling shots. So I can move that pressure wherever I want to simply by adjusting the valve. So that's the flow profiling modification at a glance. I hope this is helpful. Take care.